Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I'm celebrating my eighth booktube birthday, so I'll be doing the booktube birthday tag. Last year I did hot ones and today we are just channeling the cozy vibes because it's raining outside. I have a hot chai tea latte and I'm going to answer these tag questions. This was created by Average Joe Reed, so his video will be down below. Let's get started. The first question is how many years are you celebrating? Today I'm celebrating my eighth booktube birthday and it has put me into an existential crisis. <laughs> Next is what has kept you motivated to continue making videos and honestly it is all of the people who comment and engage with my content, especially my patrons. I have so much fun over on Patreon just getting to know everybody. I was thinking about this the other day that I love interacting with my patrons on Discord because it really helps me put things into perspective of who I'm actually talking to when I make these videos. So the fact that I am able to build relationships with my patrons and just know who they are, where they're from, and just what they like. It is so fun to just talk to people. Every month we do a watch party on Discord and we recently watched Turning Red and it was everything. It was so fun and I just love having that special time to talk to the people that actually are supporting my content. I also host a bi-monthly book club on there and I have just been loving having everybody participate and us talk about the books and it has just been such a fun time. So if you have the means and you want to join us over on Patreon, the link is down below. So I need to take this time to just thank my patrons for supporting me because without them I would not be able to make the videos that I make. Because my channel is not monetized, I use Patreon so much to fund my content. Every penny that I receive through Patreon goes into my videos. So my TikTok book products video would not have been made without Patreon. So just a big thank you to my patrons and to the people who engage with my content in any way, whether it's just watching a video, commenting. I really appreciate the people who keep engaging because it really helps me get to just see who's watching. I've said this before that I don't know unless somebody tells me. I would rather have feedback. So when someone dislikes my video, I am just like, why? And not even in a defensive way. It's more that I want to know why you didn't like it for me to be able to improve. Like honestly, I would much rather someone comment and say, hey Alex, I couldn't finish this video because instead of just disliking my videos when nobody can see the dislikes anyway, it doesn't make any sense, but I just want to know why something's not doing well or why something's doing good. So if you enjoy my content and there's a little aspect that you're like, oh my god, I love this, let me know because this is how I know that people are liking my stuff. The numbers are there, but if somebody is actually giving me the feedback, that helps me way more than something saying it got like a hundred views. What are three of your favorite videos you've made this past year and why? I have a lot. I actually have a whole playlist of my favorite videos so I'll link it down below if you want to watch it. As you can tell on my channel I love doing challenge based videos. So my first favorite video is when I had booktubers and book talkers control what I did for a weekend. When Ash J made me dance while making breakfast I thought that was so funny and I just loved going on a little scavenger hunt. My second favorite video is books to gift. In December I did two gift guide videos. One was solely products that you could buy and then another was book recommendations and that one did not get as much love as I wanted it to. I loved that video. It was fun to plan out just specific readers that I could recommend books to and I would actually recommend that video as maybe if you're starting my channel I would say that one because it just shows how well I give book recommendations. As you know I love to make book recommendation videos even though I have not made one this year at all. It's coming soon. I'll talk about it later but because I love making book recommendation videos and I just love recommending books to people and helping them find a new favorite book I loved that video because it was just fun to 
give personalized book recommendations. I do that over on Patreon sometimes and I just love doing it. I love being a book matchmaker so when somebody has read the books that I've recommended it makes my whole day. It's hard to just pick three but my third is going to be my video where I read hockey books for a week, my Slapshot Readathon vlog. Uh, we, I love hockey over here, so I loved just doing a whole video reading hockey books. It was really fun. All the videos I mentioned will be down below if you want to go and watch them, but yeah, it was a fun one and I do have a whole playlist of all my favorite videos, which will also be down below. It was hard to just pick three, but those are my top three favorite videos in the past year. What have you struggled with on booktube in the past year and how did you overcome that struggle? <laughs> I didn't even realize you could see him, but Leo is in the background. If you've been following my channel for the past year, I talk about my struggles all the time and I'm fine with being open about it because I just think it's nice to be authentic and candid about how I'm feeling. I tend to not talk about mental health a lot on my channel. I'm just a very private person, so I don't really want to talk about it that much, but honestly, I talk about a lot of my podcast uh, that I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to do with. Um, I'm just going to be honest that like my anxiety this year has been fucking awful. Like I have had the worst anxiety of my life this year and I truly think it's because of isolation. Before the pandemic my anxiety was actually pretty good. I was able to cope with it and manage it. But once COVID hit and I was in isolation for about two years, I have had the worst anxiety of my life. I cannot manage it anymore and it is horrible. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. So it doesn't help that I also get imposter syndrome and just tend to have a lot of low self-esteem when it comes to creating content and that is primarily because of burnout. I get burned out very easily which I hate so much because I just want to create all of these fun things and I can never schedule anything. The struggle is really just being a small creator. It is very hard to grow. It is hard especially as a trans person for me to get acknowledged at all without it being about me being trans, which I do also talk about on my podcast uh, because it's hard. It is really hard when I am just still getting people asking me about how I feel about trans things and I just wish people would listen to me more and not just see me as a trans person that they can just dump things on and think that I'm not going to see it. I'll make this short because I talk about my struggles all the time on my podcast Reader Rambles. That'll be linked down below. Um, but it's also hard to manage when you're just one person. I work a job but I also do YouTube and a podcast and I also have my Patreon. So it is just hard to manage everything when you're just one person and you cannot afford to have an editor or to have a captioner. So I put so much work into my channel and when I have just been doing all of that I get overwhelmed and then I also feel like shit about myself. <laughs> so I struggle with growth and I struggle with consistency and just creative burnout but I'm so thankful to have friends that I can talk to that will help me out of a spiral. Choose one moment from the past year on booktube that you would love to relive. I have a few. I loved when I interviewed Isaac Fitzsimons. That was like the highlight of my booktube experience but also getting to be a guest co-host for the Queer Lit Readathon. It was really fun and I had a lot of fun so I just appreciate when people think of me and I get to do some fun stuff. Shout out a huge supporter of your channel. I have to go to all of you who are watching this video. Honestly, if you have been here since the beginning or if you literally just subscribed last year or last week, I appreciate you so much. If you give a thumbs up on the video, 
if you comment or you're a silent watcher. Honestly, I would not keep doing booktube if it weren't for the people who comment and just keep coming back to my channel. It just motivates me. As I said earlier, that motivates me so much because sometimes I lack motivation and I just appreciate you all and I appreciate my friends who constantly uplift me when I am just going down a spiral. <laughs> What's the best book you've read in the past year? I did do a best books of 2021 video so that'll be up above if you want to watch it but I'm going to shout out my top three favorite books of the year so far. Coming in with my latest favorite, Perfect on Paper by Sophie Gonzalez. I read this with my book club last month. Oh my god, it was amazing. I can't wait to talk about it in our discussion and in my wrap-up. Icebreaker by A.L. Grazia Day. I recently posted my vlog of it and this is just such a good book about hockey, mental health, and has queer rep. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. And then in nonfiction, House Fires by Connor Franta. I talk about this in my January wrap up and this is a perfect read if you're an adult queer person. You will resonate with it a lot. Where do you see your channel in a year's time and what do you hope to have achieved? I'm trying not to make as many channel goals this year because as I've learned, growing a channel is so fucking hard. I give myself a false expectation if I say I'm going to get to a certain sub count I'm a sensitive person so I don't want to have a huge channel but I would at least like to surpass 2,000 subscribers. I've been at 2,000 subscribers for maybe four to five years and my success rate is if I hit 5k. That is my goal is I would love to just hit 5k and then I will feel like a successful person. <laughs> I do get success in other aspects of YouTube but I just struggle with growth and watching other people grow. It is hard when I've been here for eight years and I have still been at the same sub count for like five years. I would like to have another author interview at some point and I would also just like to build more of my communities. I do want to put out more sports bookish content. I'm trying to lean my videos more into sharing queer book recommendations as always but also adding in some hockey and sports books. So if you like that feel free to hit subscribe but that is it for today's video. I have not been having a good week mentally so I thought that I would just do a chill book to birthday video because last year's was really intense. I played Hot Ones Truth or Dab so I'll have it linked down below if you want to go and watch it because it's a fun one. Honestly that's another favorite video that I've made. I love all of the content that I made so even if I brought down the mood a little bit in this video I'm just being honest. So thank you for supporting me through another year on booktube. I have a cake pop to celebrate. I'll say it a thousand times but I really appreciate your support. If you support me here on my podcast anywhere I really appreciate you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for another year on booktube and I will see you in my next video very soon because I have some fun things planned for this month. Bye!